Hey up, Russell Stewart here, world leader fresh point fighting, national boxing coach Cambodia, martial arts hall of fame, combat hall of fame, oh, the list goes on. Anyway, footwork training drills. Now, these are some very, 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 very basic footwork drills. However, even these basic drills, I've seen good, good level, very high level amateurs, and some good high level pros still mess them up. It's amazing how bad some people's footwork actually is. We'll come on to that. But anyway, here's the drill. First of all, you've got to understand your distance from the bag for a jab. And it's, a, it's to touch. It's not to actually hit the bag at the minute. It's just to touch. You'll see why as we go along. So once you understand your distance correctly, you've got to maintain the distance. So we set the bag swinging away from you and towards you in that straight line for the moment. So that when you follow the bag and move away from the bag, you should be able to maintain that distance so that you can then understand where it is. Now, hopefully you can see this okay. But if I swing it towards you, this is what a lot of people do they tend to come off to the side so they don't get hit by the bag, things like that. They also, a lot of mistakes that people make is that they get too close, they get too close here and then they can't, and they struggle to maintain their distance. You see it all the time. So, and the, obviously the faster it swings and the further it swings, the further you have to go to maintain your distance and your footwork on the back. So you start off back and forth like that, just moving and to touch with a single jab. Then you get it swinging again and then you follow it and it bang, bang, bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. So you double it, then you might treble it, then you might throw a one, two. So you're getting used to, with this movement, being able to move in, move out, and throwing your punches whilst you're doing it. Now, if you're a boxer, it'll just be your punches. If you're a kickboxer, tie boxer, you can do it with knees, kicks, blah, blah, blah. If you're a traditional martial artist, you can throw in all sorts of strikes, can't you? All sorts of movement with it. But the drill's the same. You just follow it in and out. And it's only a little bit of movement. You follow it, bang, bang. Follow it, bang, bang. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. And if there's two of you training, one could be one side, one the other. Okay, so that... When they're throwing, and you're throwing at the same time, aren't you? You've got to be aware of their punches coming when they're throwing and you're moving as well. So you can up the ante, can't you? So that, I'll leave it stationary for now, but say for example, we're just doing jabs. As I move in, I don't just jab because the other guy is jabbing, isn't he? So I might move, I've got to move with my jab. I've got to do all sorts of different things. So the drill can build up and up and up and up and up. So the only limit to that principle of the bag moving is your ability and your imagination. And they can develop those drills on and on and on. If you're a fighter, you should really know it anyway. If you're a coach, if you don't know it, shame on you. All right, so try it out, see how you get on. Catch you on the next one. If you like what I teach and you like my style of teaching, why not hit the like, share, subscribe, and even make a comment if you want. I'll try and answer them. And if you want a load more lessons, dip on down to my site, sign up for free, and it opens up all the unlisted ones on the old YouTube. I'll see you down there.